Good morning, guys. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Our apartment is getting a little bit out of hand. Once I leave a mess for like one day, it's getting left for like three weeks at least before I do something about it. So that's kind of what's happened in every single square inch of our apartment. So we're gonna clean today. Let me show you guys what we're dealing with. Mom, close your eyes. Here's our kitchen. And here's where it gets really embarrassing. My room. And like, this isn't even that bad. I still haven't unpacked. I moved here six months ago. I still have that box. I still have these moving boxes that are full of my stuff that I just don't want to unpack. And then here's my other roommate, Ashley. Get out my room. Like, isn't it crazy? Ash's room is actually pretty neat. Um, yeah, because I keep my stuff actually pretty clean. Well, today's the day. I think I'm gonna tackle the kitchen first just because this is like the center of all our problems. I forget like how much having a clean house impacts my brain because on my list of priorities, cleaning is always at the bottom. And then after like weeks of putting it off, I'm like, why do I feel horrible actually? So this is so self-care moment. I've got my headphones on and I'm gonna put on a podcast. Guess who's mine? Me and Ashley just released the Beautiful Twin Sisters podcast. If you guys have cleaning to do, Podcasts are the way to get it done. Thank you guys so much for listening. Also, like, I love what we have going on here, guys. Let's get to work. Dishes time. The next thing I have to deal with is this pile of boxes that I have to break down. Breaking down a box is like the most annoying tax. Tax. Task. So I just have a little collection. Um, actually, let me show you. Oh no. No, I'm getting scared. No. No. Ah! Ah! But the reason we get so many boxes is because we're lucky enough to get PR, which is like the most exciting thing in my life. So let's do a little unboxing. Ooh, Alani New. Oh my God. Whoa, this actually looks bussin'. Okay, next we have this gigantic box. I don't know who it's from. Whoa, whoever this is. They sent one for me and one for Ashley. Ashley! Whoa, this is oh, so cute. Whoa. Wait, are we really gonna be- <gasps> I have well? always wanted that. Right? Can we switch colors? Yes! 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 <laughs> oh my god! Is this like a candle? Yeah, this must be a candle. Is it real or it cake? It smells good. I think it's cake. Oh, oh this must be from Black Bow. Black Bow Slay. Whoa. Oh, you're really getting into it. I feel like because it's just the two of us sisters living together, I like don't feel as bad when I leave the apartment messy. So it's really easy for us to be like, oh, oh no. Now we're just gonna break down these boxes and say la vie. <laughs> was like my biggest mental block with cleaning the apartment was like those effing boxes. <laughs> Thank you, God. Yeah, we did that. Thanks, Ashley. That's so real. Okay, well, now I want to look at my bathroom. Ew. Um, no, I actually, my bathroom is clean. It's just not organized. Hello. Everything in my bathroom is fine except for all my skincare stuff is so disorganized. None of this makes sense. Actually, the only placement that makes sense is my Curology because look at this. This is actually very strategic of me. When I open this cabinet, this is like immediately where my hand grabs. And what do I have here? My Curology, of course. Even though I have about a million products back there, the only one that really matters to me is this one. I'm so happy to be partnering with Curology again. This is my future proof formula because I have ingredients like tretinoin that fight against signs of aging. So I use this every night. I just add a little squirt in with my moisturizer and I apply it to my face as usual. And this is really what keeps my skin in check. Like, if there's anything that really does wonders for my skin, it is this. If you didn't know, Curology is a subscription-based custom skincare service. So you basically take a little quiz, give them your skin goals, and then they analyze it and make you a custom formula based on all of your needs. I've been using them for five years now. No complaints here. Like, I've never used a product longer than this. Like, this really is the only thing I need. Even when I reorganize all this, the Curology has to stay there. It has to stay in the easiest hands reach because that's like the one thing I really use every day. If you guys want to try out Curology, um, I'll have a link down below and I really just can't stress it enough I feel like skincare can be so confusing and there's so many different things that you can choose from but Curology chooses for you And it just makes it so much easier. So thank you Curology for sponsoring this video ah! I'm thinking we're gonna start by just emptying this whole thing. It's time to lock in Now the question is do I organize it by color or by product like I could have cleansers moisturizers whatever or I could be like rainbow I think I want to do rainbow <sighs> this is crazy yes I love cleaning yes red at the top blue and purple at the bottom done 
This actually looks beautiful. I don't know how long this will last, but I'm feeling pretty good. Once again, there is kind of no order, but at least it looks nice. Another task off the checklist. You wanna look at my new bathroom? Sure! Yes! Oh, it is gorgeous. <laughs> it actually looks it exactly looks the same! same. <gasps> it's color-coded! That's crazy! Whoa, it looks so good! I'm that bitch! Wait, how do you even have all those colors? I don't know! Wait, the color range is insane. I know. That looks so good. Now you have to do it next. Wow. No, actually, I'm so jealous right now. Oh, thanks for um, the pinks and the purples. Yeah. You're gonna post that and pretend it's yours. I already know that. Organize my bathroom today. <laughs> yeah. Now that this is done, we have my room, which is the scariest of all. Because when I have to take the mess out of the living room, it all goes in here. This is where I was hiding all the boxes. This is where all my dirty laundry is. As much as I don't care about offending Ashley and making the apartment dirty, I do still try and pick up the living room a little bit. But in here, I don't pick up anything. Also notice how I could have like the most beautiful room of all time, but instead it looks like this. The thing about me is I love collecting trash. I had a bite of this chocolate bar weeks ago and it tasted like farts. But I didn't throw it away, I just put it up here. I have a receipt from going to the Met. That goes up here. Also, I love to collect items here. This is the only collection I'm proud of in my room. Besides them, this room is trash and it needs to change. Let's go. Oh my god, thank you. What the heck? It's half rhubarb jam, half crowberry jam. What does that even mean? They're from Iceland. Okay. Mmm. Wow, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a start. freaking back. It's day two of cleaning. Look what happened already. No! Why? Why? <laughs> it was spotless 12 hours ago. This is definitely 50-50 me and Ashley's mess. I know if I leave it like this, it's just gonna keep getting worse. So let's redo all the cleaning I did yesterday again. Also, it's so gloomy outside. The sun has not come up once. It's been like this for weeks. Why? Why? Okay, let's clean this up for the second time. Okay, that's it for now. I'm gonna do these dishes later because I just mentally can't do them right now. Let's organize my room instead. Oh, now I gotta wipe off my handprint. Guys, I'm thinking I really need to do like a room redecoration video or something. Cause when I moved in here, I never bought any like artwork or things to hang on the walls. I just put all my junk in here. I never tried to make it look good. So I really want to have a cute room. I'm just really not good at that. So if any of you guys are good at interior design, comment what you think I should do because I literally have no ideas. Like I think I should put something above my bed. Everything right now is just white. Do I keep it white? Do I go really spunky? What am I gonna do with this? All my dressers are full. Um... <laughs> Perfect! Oh, the room is spotless now. This is the sun I've been needing. Wow, it's actually kind of beautiful outside. Life is crazy when you are avoidant. I am very avoidant of things and that's something I definitely need to work on. I heard of something called the five minute rule, which is like, if you think about doing something, you need to get up and do it in the next five minutes or else you're a loser. So I'm like, I need to start doing that. Cause every day I'm like, huh, I should really clean. And then I go to bed and I never do it. I feel like with most things, if you think about it and you're already putting the mental energy into like that thought, might as well get it done. Um, So there's me not practicing what I preach, guys. You should definitely go do that. I personally will continue not doing it because I'm horrible, but I've heard that's a good tip. Five days in a row will go by and I don't remember what I did at all because nothing I'm doing is that memorable. And uh, I just keep kind of sleepwalking around and not really getting anything done. Who am I becoming if I'm just like literally waking up, walking to the couch, getting up to pee, going to bed? That's all I do. Um, so pretty much this is my life. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. This guy's a creep. What's he doing running around all my videos? Get out of here, get out of here.
Classic Steve. Let's start on one of my many junk piles. Guys, look at these. These are like sticky boobs that you put on your tibbies. They're like stickers. I've just been putting them anywhere. No! No! Oh my God, I had a brand new highlighter. I just dropped it on the ground and shattered it. <gasps> Absolutely no way. Oh my God, the universe is really testing me. They're asking Amber, how much can you deal with? The answer is not that much more. Guys, look at this sunset. Beautiful. She is beauty. She is grace. She is the sunlight on your face. I can't think of a more beautiful place. And when you go camping, leave no trace. <laughs> That's what they say, right? You guys are so welcome for those casual bars when you have brown eyes in the sun. Aren't they beautiful? Let's sort through some of this junk. Guys, I can't. This all holds so much meaning. Oh, Pono got me these candies. I love this book. A half-eaten thing of Sprite's flavored Tic Tacs that tastes like battery acid. And you want me to throw this away? I'm gonna say I'm done. This looks much better to me, and all of these little things are very meaningful to me. So, look, I have all my little Snoopies up here. So cute. This is actually a heated Japanese table I got for Ashley for Christmas. Oh my gosh, there's heaters. So you can optionally plug it into a wall and then your legs get like heated while you're sitting there. But we mostly use it as our podcast table. I'll put the Amazon link for it in the description though because I know a lot of people always ask where I got that. Let's see if I can do a toe touch. I used to be a cheerleader. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah. Oh. oh my God, I actually just like tore my groin. Ah. Life's a movie. Dinner time! Ashley and I grub hub some Vietnamese food. And we're gonna give you guys a little mukbang. Here we have the spread. We got garlic noodles, vermicelli with shrimp, eggplant, and vermicelli with tofu. And a white rice. I love eggplants. That's really good. The eggplants mm. are so good. The flavor of lemongrass is crazy because that's not like in any Korean food, I feel like. When I eat it as an adult, I'm like, literally, how did they do that? That's me with like anything that's Szechuan flavored. Yeah. We're so nice, I like Chinese love flavored. Szechuan flavored, but we never grew up eating that. Mmm. Whoa, it's so good. It's in my bowl. Wow, wow, wow. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. So good. Now we'll catch you when we clean the rest of the apartment. Yay. I can do a backflip. Do you want to see? Yeah. Whoa! Are we gonna clean or no? Yeah. is so satisfying. It looks like a grocery store. Oh my gosh. I love it, it's done. Celebratory sweet potato for my efforts. This is a Japanese sweet potato that I roasted in the oven at 400 for an hour. And they become so delicious and caramelized. Look at her, she's beautiful. Mm. It's like pure caramel flavor. It's so light and just melts in your mouth. I grew up eating these and they're my favorite. If you haven't had them, you need to find them. It's just the purple Japanese sweet potatoes. Oh my God. Look at the caramelization. It's almost 1 a.m. here, so I'm gonna go to bed, but I'll show you guys the clean apartment tomorrow when the sun is up. Good night. Good morning. The apartment is clean. I just want to give you guys a good look while the sun is shining. Uh, suddenly life is beautiful. The sky is blue. Everything is organized. We did it. We did it. Also, Ashley's behind the camera for extra dynamic. <laughs> yeah, what's good? I haven't seen this table clean since January, I think. The counter is empty. How long will that last? Maybe another six hours? I don't know. Wow. It's gorgeous. No clothes on the ground. All the junk that was here, except for this, was uh, cleaned up. Don't look at that. I organized my little shelf. Ooh. Don't look under my bed. I didn't hide my... Guys, stop. What Guys, you need a backup. 
Um, Why would you do that? Because I had to make the room look clean. You can't um, like put that in your dirty laundry bin that's right there. Oh, wait, I'm so crazy. Okay, now the room's actually <laughs> clean. Don't you want to jump into this bed? This so blanket was a gift from Evelyn. Did you know that? That's crazy. And the sunshine is a gift from the heavens above. It's a beautiful day. I really had to go ham to get this done, but I feel a lot better now. Um, that's about it. If you saw any leftover mess in the video, no you didn't. No you didn't. Living in perfect, perfect cleanness is unattainable, and you'd have to like dedicate your life to that. Yeah. I dedicated one day to it, and I think that's enough. Or two days. I mean, before I did all this, I literally couldn't walk around my bedroom. Like, that's gross. I was stepping on clothes with every step, and like, all of our counters were filled with junk outside, so I feel like we did a great Great job tidying up guys. Thank you so much for being here with us. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.